Hey guys, my name is Christina and today I am checking out the Blender add-on Real Damage by Andrei Repnikov, which basically lets you generate damage in a non-destructive way on any 3D model at the click of a button. Let's give it a go. So I have to admit that I was a little bit cautious of how well this would work. And the reason I mentioned that is that I tend to only sculpt in Substance 3D Modeler, which is known to have a very high voxel poly count. And in a lot of my illustration projects, I tend to showcase environments that are either abandoned, old, or basically falling apart. And hand sculpting damage can take a lot of time. So I was worried that since my models tend to be quite high poly sculpts, this add-on might just kind of blow up my PC. <laughs> However, I was pleased to see that it worked on a relatively high poly model like this table. It has about 372,000 triangles or 186,000 faces, but it actually worked surprisingly smooth. So yeah, let's give this add-on a go. With the add-on installed under Edit, Preferences and Add-ons, you can locate it on your toolbar to your right. And if you don't see this, just press N. So before we get any options, we need to press Add Damage first. Even on a dense mesh, this operation is actually quite quick. When we click on our mesh again, we'll see that we get a few options to tweak. I have to admit that I don't fully know what all of these parameters do, um, so Andre, if you're watching this, please include little tips when you hover over these. One very important one I found was roughness. So one and everything above one results in these super sharp holes, so I think it's basically sharpening the texture if I'm not mistaken. Whereas if you go to like 0.8 or 0.9, it sort of softens the hardness a bit, and I personally like this effect a lot better. Another one is scale, so 0.01 will result in damage on one of the ends. Whereas when you raise that number, it kind of is a bit more uniform throughout the entire mesh instead of just like the end bits. And if you feel like you're lacking in detail, you can just up the detail number. But yeah, let me adjust these numbers to get a cool looking mesh. I'll speed up the video here so you can see how lowering or upping these values basically changes the damage. As you can see, there is a handy little button named internal damage, which does exactly what you think it does. It basically adds holes that go all the way through the mesh. And I think that this is just so freaking cool. Depth can really erode your mesh. So be careful with this value. Also, some of these values do make your mesh disappear at times, but you just need to change either the value or the seed and you're good. Again, I'll speed up the video and you can see how changing the values changes the mesh damage. I don't know if it's because my mesh is so freaking dense geometry wise, but adding steel is a really cool addition and might look better on your mesh. But for me, it just kind of looked a bit odd or flat out like did not work to be completely honest. I'm not quite sure why. So yeah, let's just untoggle that for now. I'm also not entirely sure what entire grid means. Uh, perhaps Andre can answer in the comments if anyone's curious or if they have any other questions for him. Otherwise, one last thing I did want to mention is that not only does the add-on add damage, but it also adds textures. So if we switch to textured mode, we can see that along with the damage, it also adds custom texture. If you go to the modifier tab and scroll down to base damage and steel at the bottom, you can actually switch out the materials. I personally like to add textures to models myself in Substance 3D Painter, 
but if you're a blender only artist this is a great option. I'm not sure but I would really like that in the future if you can like toggle on or off these textures before you add the damage. Since I have no use for that I wonder if maybe the operations would take less time when generating damage. Anyway let's move on. So I'll just do another time lapse while finishing up the rest of the legs. As you can see this process is actually surprisingly fast and if you have a lower poly mesh this would of course probably take way less time. When sculpting in VR in Substance 3D Modeler I tend to spend a lot of time manually chipping away at the mesh in a destructive way to kind of achieve a similar effect so having an add-on that just does it automatically for you is incredibly handy. It does add more geometry to the mesh itself so keep that in mind when adding destruction. But of course the handy thing is all of this is kept within a modifier so if you want a version with and without destruction all you need to do is just toggle it off and on. Alright let's see what the end result is. Yeah pretty cool. What I'm going to do real fast is just to apply the modifiers and take the mesh into Substance Painter for a quick texture job. Of course I'm using Smart UV Unwrap just to quickly unwrap everything. So having all of this destruction as real geometry and not a normal map, which if you haven't seen my previous video you should go check it out, is that we can use the ambient occlusion or any of the other smart masks and materials to add some cool edge wear and tear. I haven't really covered Substance Painter much on this channel, but I am wondering if people would be interested in seeing me use it. If so, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Feel free to just comment down below. I am always open to ideas. So yeah, let's cut to the final model. I think that looks cool. And it was really easy to do as well. I do feel like the add-on can be improved upon, but I'm sure that will happen in due time. Thanks so much to Andre for sending me this add-on to check out. There is actually a free version on Blender Market, so if you're curious about this add-on, feel free to check it out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!